Hi, I'm Steph, and this is Mac, and this is Tosh. Uh, today I thought I would show you how I clean my dog's ears and their teeth, and just so you know, I am no expert. This is how my um, vet has told me to clean their ears and the teeth. I just try to get something because, you know, putting a toothbrush in a dog's mouth is not easy, but um, I'm gonna show you how we do that. So I'll start with the ear supplies. So I actually use uh, this ear cleaner. Uh, it's just something I got on Chewy. And then I use these cotton balls. I use uh, one per ear and I use four uh, tissues and I put on gloves so my hands are clean. And then I give them treats, which you're gonna see here. So let me prepare everything so you can kind of see how that goes. All right, so the first step is I actually just put the cotton balls on the top here to prepare them. And then I pour some of this on the cotton balls. So my vet told me not to put this solution directly in their ears, and that, so that's why I'm doing it like this. Um, it does say on the instructions to put it directly in their ears, but I listen to my vet, so that's what he says. And then I'm going to prepare a treat. So I give them, these are greenies, they love these, these little treats. So I'm going to give each of them a half after I do their ear. So I got those ready, got this ready, I'm going to put on, on the gloves, and then I will go ahead and start. So we're gonna start with little Mac here. And if you see these spots on her head, it's cause it's raining. So she has rain on her. But I'm gonna start by putting the, uh, the liquid in here and I'm just gonna kind of move it around and go like this and clean out the ear. And her ears are really clean today. Then I'm gonna follow it up with this. Just put one finger in the ear and make sure that everything is out of the ear. And also if there's any liquid left, then I'll get that out of her ear. Okay, she did good. And she gets a treat. Good girl. Okay, so now Tosh has come over, so she's ready for her first ear. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Clean out the ear with the liquid. Then follow up with the <laughs> tissue. And again, this was all recommended by my vet, so that's why I do it this way. So I'm gonna clean out this ear. Okay, she's good. And she gets a treat. Good girl. Now we're gonna do Max's other ear. Come here, girl. Okay. Okay. There's a little bit, I mean, that's pretty gross, but there's a little bit of stuff on there you can see. Just make sure everything is cleaned out here. And nothing much. And here's a treat, good girl. And then the last one for Tosh here. Clean out that ear. And I'm not, I'm being gentle, but I'm also like trying to get in there, but I'm not going too deep. And then we'll clean that out. Good girl. All right, and I'll give Tosh her treat. Good girl. We're gonna take off, take off the gloves, throw all that away. Then I give them both one more treat because they're good pups. Now to clean their teeth, I do this um, every other day. So I use this toothpaste. I've tried other things. I don't love this one because it smells gross, but this is the only one that will tolerate its poultry flavor. Um, I've tried other things, but this is the only one that actually has worked. And these are their toothbrushes. These are just inexpensive ones from Amazon. And then after I clean their teeth, I actually put them in these to kind of... Um, to kind of get the gunk off of them. And these are just actual little um, glasses from the dollar store. So it's a dollar for six of these. So once these get gross, I can dispose of them, but I use them, um, you know, a good amount of times. You can see I've labeled them. Um, and they each have their own toothbrush and they're labeled, the black one is Max, and then Tosh is the T, just because I don't want to, if they have any kind of teeth issue, I don't want there to be mixing up. So now let's try to clean their teeth. Okay, Tosh, you wanna be first? All right, so I just get the toothpaste. 
and I put it on the toothbrush. Tosh loves it. She's trying to lick it. There it is, get a good amount. And then I just kind of lift up her mouth a little bit and I just go like this. And again, this is not like I would do with a human. <laughs> I just try to get, you know, as much as I can um, in there. And she likes the flavor of the toothpaste, so it's pretty easy to do. All right, good girl, good girl. All right, and then with the toothpaste brush, I just put it in this jar here to let it kind of get the gunk off because the toothpaste is really um, like sticky and so this kind of helps dislodge the stickiness and then I'll um, take it out after a little while. So I'm gonna do Max teeth now. And Tosh tries to lick the toothpaste when I'm doing Max teeth, so it's not the best, but okay, come here girl. Okay, come on. <laughs> this is literally what happens every time. Come on Tosh. Okay, come here Mac. up. Okay, come on. Mac, come on. Good girl. So I just lift up her teeth and I just do a quick, quick cleaning. And again, Tosh is trying to lick the toothpaste, which is, you know, as joyful as you would think it is. But, oh, you can't see it. Come here. Doo -doo. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. There we go. There we go. And we got it. Good, good, good girl. Okay, I'll give you this because I was trying to get... <laughs> because I was using it as, uh, so there you go. I'm now gonna clean this one. And there you have it, their teeth and ears are now clean. Like I said, I do their ears once a week. Um, I was told by the vet not to overdo that, so that's why I do it once a week. And then their teeth I do every other day. And I typically do it after dinner. Um, and I just kind of have a reminder on my phone and it tells me and then I just clean their teeth and we're good to go. Um, the teeth is really just to, greyhounds have bad teeth in general, as. You know, if you have a greyhound, you probably know. So um, I do get them professionally cleaned by the vet uh, every year, but this is just to help between and it makes the kind of yearly cleaning a little bit easier for them. So I wanted to tell a quick story. Um, last December, little Mac here, she actually had an ear infection. And what was happening is when I would clean her ears the once a week, there was a lot of earwax in there, um, but it was kind of gradually over time getting worse, but I didn't realize, um, I, did, I just, if for some reason it didn't like click in my head like that she had an ear infection so I just like wow she just has more earwax than normal that's weird and um, I was read like is this normal um, and it just kind of kept getting worse and worse and so finally took her to the vet and she had a raging ear infection um, so um, so that's a good reason to clean their ears once a week to get an idea of what like a baseline is for the dogs and then um, and then you know once they don't have an ear infection you see how, how clean their ears are. So um, Mac used to have kind of dirty ears and I just was kind of her norm. And then she had that major ear infection. We cleaned that up and she's had really clean ears ever since. So if your dog has like more buildup in their ears than typical, I would probably just bring them to the vet and just kind of check and see like, is this is this typical, have, have a test run. But uh, Mac is good now. Tosh didn't have an ear infection at that time. We had her checked too, so all is good. If there's, um, if you have any questions about greyhounds, I've had Mac for almost three years now and Tosh for almost a year. So uh, no expert, but I do, I do have them in my life 24-7. Um, and if there's any other kind of video you want to see about greyhounds, let me know in the comments. All right. Have a nice day. Bye.